I was really disgusted by Smith's answer when a reporter asked what she had to say to those Albertans. Albertans whose job she has shut down for six months. Alberta NDP energy and climate critic Kathleen Ganley calling out Premier Daniel Smith and the Alberta government over the six-month moratorium on renewable energy projects without any consultation from the industry itself and any transparency on the issue. Smith claimed the Alberta electric system operator, the ASO, requested the pause. City News asked ASO about its position on the pause and was told, quote, the ASO has no further comment on this issue beyond what is stated in our letter. Their letter says the ASO will support the AUC in its implementation of a government-directed six-month temporary pause on new power plant applications. City News also reached out to Alberta Utilities Commission, AUC, about the pause and their response was, AUC provided the Alberta government with a letter outlining concerns that stakeholders expressed to the commission. The Alberta NDP says reviewing such concerns doesn't justify a moratorium. Even if they requested a review of regulations, like this is something the government does every day. Um, you know, the PC government did it before us, we did it when we were in government, the UCP government does it all the time too. It's the literal function of government to do these sorts of reviews and you, you can't stop the world while you do them. Ganley adding, she is disgusted by Premier Smith's reaction to potential job losses in the renewable sector. It's, uh, it's six months. Uh, we, uh, we think that that is a reasonable amount of time for us to be able to make the decisions that we have to. She just shrugged and said, it's six months. That's an insult to those hardworking Albertans. These Albertans want to work. They want to do the jobs that they had until Smith took them away. They want to build these power projects, and Albertans need them. The Alberta NDP is demanding the government immediately lift the pause on the projects and conduct a public hearing. In Calgary, Hannah Said, City News.